This is the guts of a Chinese piece of crap so shine cell charger. Marked as being a battery charger, but this is for charging cells, not batteries, because a cell by because a battery by definition contains multiple cells. So for example, nine volt batteries are true batteries because they contain multiple cells. The double A's and the triple A's that this is designed to charge aren't. This is the uh, but anyways, this is the top side of the PCB which has um bunch of these contacts which fit through holes in the charger casing and uh, go to the cell holders on top of the charger and there's this button which is marked on the top as being for refresh so I don't know if that might be for some kind of um, cell conditioning thing which this may or may not be able to do Again, this thing was not supplied with any documentation because it's a Chinese piece of crap. And there's this, which is a 3.58 megacycle ceramic resonator for the um, microcontroller. There's a bunch of these pieces of crap. Uh, Sheng X and Chong X. Garbage, Hu Flung Dung, uh, electrolytic capacitors. There's this, which is the inductor for the main buck converter or for the buck converter that supplies about the uh, one and a half volts or so to charge the cells got a bunch of parallel wired um, high speed rectifiers uh, probably a shot key but uh, and there's, then there's that which is an over or which is an anti reverse polarity protection diode right next to the barrel connector that's one and exactly one thing this thing has going for it and there's this stain, uh, the stains on the PCB are from some kind of really crappy attempt at um, conformal coating the board and then there's a liquid crystal display which just gives a charge of, or the charge level of each cell and a couple of um, warning messages like charging's finished and uh, bad cell and whatever. There's this which is the underside of the uh, liquid crystal display which is a fairly standard low end uh, display. There's a um, this which is the LED for the light pipe for backlighting this, the uh, display and this cob which is just a display driver but it's a chip on board and for the main freak shell this is the um, main PCB. As you can see there's more of this crap goobered all over it. I think some of that might be I think that particular stuff is flux from soldering the uh, cell contacts on. There's the underside of the 3.58 megacycle uh, resonator. There's a microcontroller. Can't read the part number on it because of the um, this crap attempt at conformal coding. It's obscured the number but looking at the um, quality of the epoxy it's not probably not a very good one and there's a number of SO8 package MOSFETs there's one two three there's um, three of them on the board only one with a legible part number is this one which I presume is for the uh, yeah, that one I think is for the uh, buck converter it's a um, PF78AB. Is it? Oh, what a who guess? No. I'm gonna focus on that. There we go. Yep. And it's marked as being made by Fairchild, but judging by the style of the F. And the general quality of the epoxy, I think that is probably counterfeit. This with 90% cert certainty. And there's a pair of LM393 uh, uh, comparators or operational amplifiers. Can't remember exactly which. I think those are comparators. Um, pair of uh, 2512 package 50 milliohm resistors is current sensing shunts. And one stupid thing about this is that, as you can see by the way the shunts are wired, 
This thing controls the current in all four cells as a group, which means that according to the specifications on the bottom of the charger, if you have four AA cells, charges them at 500 milliampers a piece, up a piece or thereabouts. <clears throat> However, if you only have one cell in it, two amperes. So a AA cell probably not going to last all that long. But then again, Chinese piece of crap, what do you expect? And of course it says it's double insulated even though, um, don't think so. But anyways. And of course Rho, so the solder is absolutely crap. But, of course you got things like, um, uh, like the, the goobered stuff all on these uh, resistors here and that. Um, gunge on those resistors, which is again part of the crappy conformal coating. Um, and there's um, these uh, 5.6 uh, ohm resistors are, I think, for current limiting or current sensing or current balancing in each cell, and each one goes to a um, an SOT23 um, transistor for turning the um, charging on and off. I think there's probably also some potential metrology in there somewhere as well. Just analog signals being fed back to the microcontroller, but yeah. Not a very good soldering job at all. You can see like that. That are just blobs of crap all over the PCB. Yeah. Or Genji crap conformal coating. Yeah. Because I just smeared a bunch of solder all over the uh, some of the terminals on that uh, MOSFET there, which is... I might be able to read the part number on that. Um... Nine, nine, wait a minute, um, looks like nine, nine, two, seven. There's also a delta symbol, a 74, and I can't really read the rest because of the conformal coding, but, that's just really a piece of crap, but, what do you expect, made in China? Yeah.